Welcome to Storybook Nanny. Subscribe for more books read aloud. The Night Before Thanksgiving T'was the night before Thanksgiving, and all through the nation, families got ready for the big celebration. At our house, my mom baked three kinds of pies, pecan and pumpkin and apple surprise. Mmm. That night, we were nestled all snug in our beds, while visions of turkey legs danced in our heads. The very next morning, Thanksgiving! Yippee! We got up and watched the parade on TV. Relatives arrived from near and far, by taxi and airplane, by train and by car. My brother came up the basement stairs, lugging the kids' table and folding chairs. We counted and polished our best silverware, then set the two tables with patience and care. The turkey went in, and as more cousins came, I laughed and I shouted and called them by name. Hi, Danny. Hi, Donnie. Hi, Paula and Vicky. Hi, Casey. Hi, Kathy. Hi, Brenda and Ricky. Come in from the porch. Step into the hall. Now come and play. Come and play. Come and play all. So up to my room, my cousins, they flew. We played with my toys and computer games, too. We made pilgrim hats and funny shoe buckles. Then put on a skit for aunts and for uncles. All were assembled, except Uncle Norm, who called us to say he was stuck in a storm. Meanwhile, my mother was getting out yams, cranberry jelly, and honey-baked hams. When Mom wasn't looking, we stuck olives on fingers, said they were puppets, and grand opera singers. While dinner was cooking, we played dodgeball outside. Our tummies were growling. Can we eat yet? We cried. The timer then sounded. The turkey was cooked. Mom opened the oven. She sniffed and she looked. When what to our watering mouth should appear but a marvelous bird which caused us to cheer. Its skin, oh, so golden. The drumstick so juicy. The stuffing was fluffy. Thanks to my Aunt Lucy, Dad slid out the bird. It weighed 30 pounds. He turned, <gasps> then he tripped over one of our hounds. Up in the air, the turkey did fly, over the string beans and straight for the pie. My brother and I made such a clatter as we leapt and got the bird on a platter. All right, said Grandpa. Get on with the carving. Can't you see that these people are starving? Dad spoke not a word, but went straight to his work. He sliced up the turkey, then turned with a jerk. In front of our house, we heard beeps of a horn. A trucker delivered none other than Norm. With a wink of his eye and a twist of his head, the party can start. I made it, Norm said. We all took our places. The food smelled so great. We started to dig in, but Dad said to wait. We're thankful that everyone is gathered this year in our home and our hearts, where we hold you so dear. We ate and we ate, yet last but not least, the very next day was a leftovers feast. If you like these videos, become a supporter of Storybook Nanny.